Hey, Kunoichi! <laughs> oh, excuse me, Fox made me lose my focus. What's wrong, my friend? <laughs> Looks like something's happening over there. I'll go check it out now. You coming with me? All right, but keep low, hero. You know, I have something that can give me the stealth of the real ninja. <laughs> Shoko, what's she doing here? Let's show her it's a bad idea to enter our territory. No, no! We're far too close to the ninja craft. We mustn't do anything rash. Huh? First, we need to hide the ninja craft. Nobody needs to be afraid now. They'll be gone pretty soon. <laughs> Construction of your new watchtower is well underway now, Grandfather. Since you report having often seen those annoying mini ninjas in the village, we need to keep our spy eyes on them. I order you to finish that spy tower in three days. Three days? That's impossible! <laughs> At your orders, Grandfather. <laughs> How dare you sneeze into my dinner, Katsuni! A ninja never talks with his mouth full, Hero. Especially if he wants others to understand. <laughs> Sorry, Master. I said the good news is that Ashida doesn't suspect that we're here. But we have some bad news, too. Ashida's moving. Shoko's here, building a new watchtower to spy on us. <gasps> if Ashida's tower rises nearby, he'll find out where our secret camp is. I'd much rather have the ghost of my old master Yamabushi come back and halt us. You don't mean a real ghost, do you, Master? Perhaps Shoko could get a little visit from the ghost tonight. <laughs> There's no such thing as ghosts, and everyone knows it, Suzumi. Sometimes people confuse what's for real and what's not for real, Hero. <laughs> Kitsune, no such th things as ghosts. Ah. No, P please, M M Mr. Ghost. I, I, ah. <laughs> ah. in Shogo's tent. <gasps> Forgive me, Master. I nearly got caught like a rookie ninja. But you didn't get uh, caught, Suzumi. Shoko had enough time to see you. And in her eyes, you were a ghost that vanished in the night. It's all a question of what's for real and what's not. Right, Master? What is it with everyone today? You're all talking with your mouths full. One more spooky night like this. Oh. Like this, and you can bet she'll go run away. Yes, Grandfather. It had a fan. Then it just evaporated. Just a fan, you say? Like my old master, Yamabushi. He always had one. The ghost of Yamabushi came to you. Yamabushi? You don't mean the creator of Kuji Magic. His ghost would be a powerful ally for us. If I could harness it, his spirit would lead us to the secret camp of those dastardly mini ninjas. Capture him, Shoko! Wait, Grandfather. Everyone knows the ghosts don't like mud puddles. Aren't for real. Now, don't disrespect our ancestors or you might incur the wrath of the terrible Atsumori. Atsumori? Is he some old ghost too? Yes, 
an ancestor. Oh. And when he was alive, he harassed his own family. Now, he delights in haunting people who don't oh. believe in ghosts. And Samori is the worst kind of ghost. Oh. Hmm. The worst kind of ghost. <laughs> mud, mud is suffer. Don't forget, mud is the only way to catch a ghost. Making mud? Maybe they're planning on using it to make their building sturdier. Unless, however... while I'm gone. Uh, me? All alone? Fending off ghosts? But my dear samurai child, who will serve you your ginseng cookies? Uh, forward, help! Uh, nah, not now, Fudo. If we attack now, Shoko will realize that the ghosts were us, and then... And then she'd wonder why we wanted to make her leave this place, and then... And she'd guess her tower is too close for comfort to our secret ninja camp. Mud is the only thing that can give shape to a ghost and prevent it from flying away. But I have something else that does it, too. It looks like a Sheeta! And no head makes him even uglier. It's Atsumori, a Sheeta's great grandfather. He was cantankerous and bossy. Now, if he ordered a Sheeta to set Hero free, there'd be no argument. Makes for one scary ghost. You could have fun with this, Fudo. Well, let's hop to it now. No disrespecting our ancestors. <laughs> no offense, Grandfather, but these ghost stories are a bunch of baloney. <laughs> Keep still, you! Capture our companion ghost hero. Hero? Uh, I mean, Yamabushi. Ooh, these canyons are our ghostly hangout, our haunted playgrounds. We don't allow living souls to come traipsing into our territory. <laughs> yes, sir. And your orders, great grandfather, right away, sir. Forgive us for disturbing your rest. Wait, grandfather. It's odd the ghost mentioned hero. He got free! How could he have? Nothing's impossible in the spirit world, Shoko. If you disrespect spirits, they will play tricks on you. Don't be arrogant! <laughs> Who dares incur the wrath of Yamabushi? Who dares incur the wrath of Atsumori? Who? I do believe in ghosts! I do! I promise! I've learned my lesson, Pappy Atsumori! Thank you for sparing me, Pappy Atsumori. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, you children were perfect, even though your ninja training didn't actually prepare you for this mission. And we've all learned there's no such thing as ghosts, unless they're make-believe. Are you really sure, Hero? So what's that behind you, then? Huh? <laughs> you thought I'd fall for that? <laughs> Fine work, Sean, nearly fooled me. <laughs> Huh. Wait, if everyone's here with me, then who's that ghost? Huh? Stop! You see, it's the point of view that matters. Only fools never change their perspective.
of Tamifo Shiromi. So, we finally found the temple, Shoko. And the armor of Kurosawa? It should be easy to take, Grandfather. Well, go then, quick, quick! Oh, Tomifu Shirobe Temple houses suits of armor worn by great samurais. Among them is the armor worn by Kurozawa. Legend has it that anyone wearing it is unbeatable in war. Wow. But Master, why are you keeping the samurai helmets? It's been handed down from ninja master to ninja master for ages as a souvenir of an ancient victory against the samurais. Won't you please let me put it back on again, Master? This is no time for playing, Hero. This helmet fell, and that is surely a sign Ashida is out to get the armor of Kurozawa. We must set out immediately to the temple of Tami Wufu. Uh, Tami Fufu. Uh, right, Master? Hero, since you're so interested in this helmet, <laughs> oh, it's covered in soot. You may polish it before going. Oh. How do we get to the, uh, tummy, tummy fruit fruit? The master handed me this map that shows where the temple is. There's not a second to lose. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help you finish polishing when we get back. Sometimes I really wish I was a bird. Wanna race to the top, Fox? <laughs> Last one up is a stinky style sashimi! <laughs> <laughs> or may not smell like stale sashimi, but you look close to it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wait, which one is the right one? You think the master forgot to tell us what to look for? <sighs> huh? You're always getting in my way, you munchkin ninjas. Wait a second. His armor is legendary, so it probably won't look like any other. First one to find it gets relieved of polishing chores. It's, it's a, a deal. deal. They split up. Perfect. We'll pick them off one by one. Wow. You're shiny. Now that's what I call polish. <laughs> Funny. Uh -huh. oh. Hey, why'd you do that? Wow. Hey, I guess we both love hammers. I wasn't going to take your pretty hammer. I swear, I already have one. Wow. This must be the armor of Kurosawa. Excuse 
me. <gasps> Stop! Huh? Good boy. Hero! Fudo! Where's a ninja when you need one? Oh, I've been waiting for you for... <gasps> A real ninja doesn't like samurais, that's for sure. Oh, wait a minute! The real ninja never runs from danger! Haha, <laughs> lost him. The real ninja's always fast. Crazy oh. monkey ninjas! If you don't take me right this instant to the Kurozawa armor, our sweet girly ninja will never play the flute again! Suzumi! <laughs> What are you waiting for? Shoko, but we don't know which suit of armor is Kurosawa's. Fuji spots? Yep. <laughs> Wait, we're forgetting something. Suzumi is right. We didn't find the armor of Kurosawa. The armor of Kurosawa is merely a legend. That's huh? what's engraved on the gold suit of armor. the giant armor. Did you lose him? Don't worry. That's one less you'll have to polish. <laughs> so the gold suit of armor is engraved with words that say the story was made up by Tommy Fushi... Uh... <laughs> Tommy Fushiromi was a great magician who loved practical jokes. The Kurosawa suit of armor was a trap for anyone lusting for power. <laughs> I can think of practical jokes that are a lot funnier. Speaking of fun, Hero hasn't finished polishing the helmet. Mm. I want it to shine like a suit of gold armor. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
I know how much you cherish your bonsais, my dear Nakata. And I thank you for lending them to my students embarking on the way of the bonsai. Master, what is the way of the bonsai? It's another name for a sense of responsibility, Kunoichi, which every good ninja must develop. So not real ninja. These will teach you to take good care of these dwarf trees, children. I'm very fond of them all, you know. They're very precious. You will have them back one week from now, Nakata, in time for the Bonsai Festival. Green Dumb Bats Nakata, the best gardener in the land beneath the clouds. Hmm. Huh. Hold on! Shoko has to be present! Shoko! Forgive me, Grandfather. A little sunshine will do you good, my fine little friend. Not another word out of you, Shoko! You're late for the flag raising! <laughs> it's my fault, Your Highness. I failed to wake our young warrior in time. <laughs> Imbecile! Double cretin! Triple idiot! Horrors! <gasps> ah! <laughs> What's that disgusting flag doing to my beautiful fortress? No! Oh, it's hideous! You know my grandfather can't stand plants. He's in a terrible mood now. How could you bring a plant in here? But this specimen's perfect, your warriorship. If I could possibly show it at the Bonsai Festival, it would surely win first prize. Hmm. You took the blame off me earlier. I have to pay back my debt to you. Yes, my Bushido requires this, so I'll save your Bonsai. Oh, what a sweet dear little samurai. Be swift, be fast, for Lord Ashida won't stay frozen in place for long. Water only with a gentle mist at moonrise. Delicately pinch dead leaves with thumb and index. Keep out of the midday sun. Oh, with all of this, I won't have time to do my training. Where are you going, Hero? You scared we might copy your gardening technique? Um, I'm uh, going to get it some fresh air. It helps uh, move the sap. Hmm. There now, there's your gentle mist and you're all done. That should do it for the week. <laughs> That's not midday. You can stay in the sunshine. And now on to some serious ninja business. Goodness, I should go check on your bonsais later. I hope you have respected the way, and that none of you have taken any other way that might lead to, uh, to, uh, I mean, anyone who doesn't follow the way of the bonsai will be punished. That's all. Oh, no, I completely forgot about you. Doesn't look like the sap's flowing at all. Fox! Oh. oh no, Fox. Can't have you watering the bonsai. It's in bad enough shape already. I wish I could help, Hero. But this, this poor thing is totally dead. My magic isn't powerful enough to revive it. 
What do I do? I bet the master will punish me and Nak <gasps> Nakata! The best gardener in the land beneath the clouds! I'm sure he'll have a solution! Hey! Wait for us! Yes! Where? Where did that wretched green thing go? I... I threw it out, Your Highness. I went and buried it outside so it would disturb your magnificence. Really? Show me where you put it. Oh, poor dear. What a shame. It was so pretty. We can't do anything for it now, Hero. I'm no magician. Magic couldn't do anything for it either. Excuse me. I have to hang all these lanterns for tomorrow's bonsai festival. <laughs> Good work, Hero the Hero. All you need now is to tell the master about your exploits. Oh, that's right. The ninja master is going to inspect our bonsai. We need you to take care of this green thing, Nakata. And you better make sure it stays in bloom. I'll be back to check on it. Often. Your w w wish is my command, young lady. Phew. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes, the lanterns. You see what I see? It's exactly like the one I had. Don't do it, Hiro. If Shoko notices that her bonsai is gone, Nakata will have to pay for your errors. Don't panic, Suzumi. I'll hurry to the ninja craft for inspection and hurry right back. Nobody will ever be the wiser. Hey! Excuse me, Fudo! <laughs> you think he can pull it off? Hiro, he's the best. Sublime Warlord, I know I buried it right here. Well, I understand. You dare misinform me, you miserable traitor. No one gets away with lying to the great Ashida. Grandfather? Find me where Kitsune buried his bonsai. Destroy it immediately and bring it here. I want to be sure there's no error this time. Yes, Grandfather, as you wish. I must obey Grandfather. Forget about my Bushido. Forget honoring my debt to Kitsune. Turn back! <laughs> oh no, she'll notice that her bonsai's gone. Not if you beat her back to Nakata's. Hurry it up. Meanwhile, we'll try to stall Shoko. Come on, Fudo. That way! Oh, too late. Or perhaps I could slip under the hedge. What did you do to my bonsai, you wretched villager? I... I didn't move it, I assure you. do the same to every one of your bonsais if you do not tell me the truth. Please, I swear to you Shoko. that... Shoko! Huh? The mangy ninnies? Don't tell me you're interested in gardening. Give those two-legged bonsais a good shearing! Ninjas! <laughs> you are such a cute... No, Shoku, I'm not talking about you. Nakata had nothing to do with this bonsai disappearing. I'm the one who took it. Hand it over! I must destroy it! Lord Ashida demands to see it dead. Well, what if we just... treat it? You need a dead bonsai. I need one that's alive and well. <laughs> we could help each other out. Hmm. Just this once. Just this once, Smarty. Fine. It appears that you have all progressed in the way of the bonsai. You will be allowed to go to the festival. Especially Hero. Huh? You will be allowed to stay longer than your friends. Huh. Look at you. It's all because of your pal that I got punished. Hope you're happy. For once, 
you've done fine work, Shoko. Now let's burn this horrible, wretched little thing. <laughs> Bonsai is doing very well, Kitsune. It even won the bonsai contest in the village. <laughs> we can't find it, Grandfather. Pardon me, Sister Sublime Splendor. <laughs> you lost my magical necklace! I'll find it sooner or later, Grandfather. You can count on... Count on who? Huh? On you, Shoko? You're as big a nincompoop as Kasuni! But what can I expect from someone who has it the slightest magical power? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> There, Fox. Fudo, my ninja instinct tells me that you can't beat that. My hammer and I will smash your uh. records. <laughs> <gasps> I would have preferred you smash Hero rather than a woodland sprite statue. <laughs> Don't worry, Suzumi. There's no such thing as sprites. Hmm. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> the sun's going down. Let's head back to the ninja craft. What makes you the big expert on whether sprites exist or not? <laughs> Only villagers believe that superstitious stuff. Hmm. Is it my fault if I'm not endowed with magical powers? Magical powers don't grow on trees! <sighs> wow! Incredible! Hey! If I could give my grandfather one of these tiny magical beans, he'd finally be proud of me. You're on our bad girl list, Shoko. You go around wrecking nature, terrorizing animals. Do you really think you can do that to us too? of the land beneath the clouds. It's time for breakfast. I don't care about your scrambled eggs. Shoko's been missing since yesterday. Hmm. She does have enemies. Nice change from Master's Rice with Rice. Thanks, Aika. I figured you would enjoy this picnic-style breakfast. And you were sure Hero would especially enjoy it. <laughs> 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 Her warrior ship Shoko is missing and... Uh, and the great Ashida, the master of the land, <laughs> demands that you hand her over immediately. Sorry. Wait. Uh, we haven't seen Shoko for several weeks. Thank goodness. If her warrior ship has not been returned to the fortress within 24 hours, Nakata will be put in jail for as long as it pleases Lord Ishida. Huh? <gasps> Sorry for the bad news. Oh, oh no. no! That's silly, Kitsune. We told you, no one here knows where to find Shoko. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't fair. I really am so. It's a shame how this turned out. With Shoko missing, we should be celebrating. Oh, hero. Huh? You're not going to let my father go to jail, are you? I'll defend him, Aika. We'll go rescue Shoko. Even if we hate doing it. <laughs> Find 
find Shoko, Master. Let's hope that Hiro, Futo, and Suzume will have better luck than you, children. Hey, stop! Let's get home and go to bed. Even my hammer's all worn out. If we can't find Shoko by dawn tomorrow, Nakata will be taken to the fortress, if you recall. Should we go take a look at the clearing over there? Well, Hiro, you <gasps> still don't believe in sprites? <gasps> they could simply be optical illusions. Oh, all right, they do exist. But I'm sure they have no powers. You'll soon see. Huh? <laughs> Stop me if you think you can, you little sprites! <laughs> we hear you don't think that we have any magical powers. That's a little presumptuous, huh, little ninja? <gasps> uh, you can talk, too? Hero! Uh, don't hurt my friend, you over there! I recognize you there. You destroyed one of our statues, didn't you? Huh? Uh, Big ninja? And you? Huh? You set it down crooked! I'm so sorry. Talk about disrespect! <clears throat> oh! Oh, great forest sprites. We want to make up for our failings and gain your forgiveness. Looking for the samurai girl, proud cocky ninja. How did you know that? If you were humble, you'd believe in our magical powers. And we might have already told you where to find Ashida's pesky granddaughter. If you know where she is, you must tell me, please. There are villagers, innocent lives in danger. Since you know it all, you know that we ninjas protect nature. We ninjas and you woodland sprites are on the same side. <laughs> Shoko, the Woodland Sprites are letting me set you free. But I'll only do it if you promise to go straight back to the fortress. I promise, Hero, on my Bushido. <laughs> set free, Ninja Jutsu! Ha ha! I cross fingers when I promise, Ninja. I fooled you again. The shame's on you. <sighs> go straight back to the fortress if you give me some magical power! Huh? <laughs> yeah, you don't even respect your own Bushido! My Bushido doesn't say I can't cross my fingers when a filthy mangy ninja resorts to blackmail! <laughs> Some little humans, the moon's about to set. I must return to my statue, and you will do me the favor of clearing out. Oh, please, fine woodland sprite, do us one more favor. Hmm. Leave me alone, you mangy ninjas. Now that the spirit has given me a magical power, I'll be going home even faster than ever! Wait! We know you're a cheater, Shoko, and we'll keep our eyes on you to the end! Shh! <laughs> Nakata! <laughs> and now you will release Nakata! If we ninjas hadn't asked, the Woodland Sprite would never have given you that magical power. You owe us one. Ha ha ha! Tie them up, Samurais! Hey! Let me go, Filthy <laughs> Feet! Hey, it's me, Frodo! <laughs> Don't you worry, friends. The power that I've given the samurai girl only works once. And further alert. What power? Magic? You? <laughs> I'll believe it when 
I see it, Shoko. You'll have to prove it. Hmm. Hey, you finally found it? Yes, your warriorship. I dropped it in the dustbin with the dirty rags. <laughs> hmm. I'll prove it to you right now with a real demonstration, Grandfather. Dogura Magura! Right! Amusing. All right, make it reappear and make it fast. You know how much that necklace means to me. Dogura Magura! Huh? Protect us from Ashida. Do not let him steal our crops. Please accept this offering as thanks for your protection. Many thanks! No. Accepted with pleasure. <laughs> Stop hiding in your wife's arms, you pitiful peasant. You go run into town and warn everyone that I'm here. And I want a lot more rice! Miss, we've nothing left. You know this because you took it all. We'll see how empty they are. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty rotten thief. You'll pay for this one day. Playing go fetch. That's funny. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Uh. Hmm. What? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Why does the master say always close one eye for better aim? Perhaps because if we closed both, we'd never see a thing. Oh. Lunch time. Come and eat. Gosh, I'm so hungry I could eat a bowl of rice twice my size and then some. <laughs> uh, what's this, Master? A sample or something? I'm running low on rice. If I'd had some soybeans, I could have whipped up some noodles and beans. <laughs> but I'm out of noodles, too. <sighs> All we need to do is go get the bag of rice the villagers always leave for us at the temple. No, Suzumi. The villagers have run out of rice. Shoko steals all their stocks. And her grandfather, Ashida, is hoarding them. We have to get them back, and quick. No sooner said than done, Master. The real ninja always prefers action on a full stomach to training on an empty stomach. Ninjas! Aren't you guys tired of eating rice all the time, too? Oh, yes. But that's how the master takes care of us. <laughs> I love rice and apples. They may be for the birds, but they're also for me. <gasps> Listen. <laughs> Ika, what are you doing here all alone and crying? It's Shoko. <laughs> She's stolen all our rice. We know. Never fear, though. The real ninja will never let anyone in this village starve. Uh. Huh? Oh. Tell me, Aika, has Shoko left yet? No. She's inspecting our barns with three samurais. But a cart rolled by earlier on its way to the fortress. We'll get your rice back. That's a promise we'll keep. Oh, hero. Huh? I knew I could count on you. <laughs> so tell us, Hero, can we too count on you to lay out a plan? A plan? Hero? Oh, uh, right, of course. Uh, huh. Let's get going. We'll see about that later. <laughs> Don't you worry, Aika. We'll take care of everything. Oh, Hero, I knew I could <laughs> <laughs> Phew, close call there. Thanks, Hero. 
Hey, boys. You two ready to hit hard and furious? <laughs> Need a hand, Mr. Samurai? Amazingly fast work, hero. Where's the third samurai? Where'd he go? Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey, Futo! Looks like the villagers will get their rice back. Let's get this to safekeeping in the ninja craft for starters. Huh? And the other samurai? Too bad. We don't have time to look for him. The rice is more important. Hero, forever getting in my way. Him and his mangy ninjas. They took all the rice that I. S <gasps> <laughs> These mini ninjas are mini ninnies. Captain, this trail of rice will surely lead us directly to their secret camp. Forward, ho! <laughs> All right, let's take the secret shortcut to get to the ninja craft. Huh? We've been leaking rice all the way here? What? I can't believe it. Look at that. Anybody could follow us with that trail. You wouldn't happen to mean Choco, would you? Yep, you got it, Fudo. Don't move. It. Shoko is following us. It's too late to pick up the rice on the ground. At the pace she's marching, she's a hundred yards off. About as fast as a crow would fly. We're not gonna let her find our camp. Let's go and block her. Hold on. What did you just say, Suzumi? That Shoko's a hundred yards away about as fast as a crow would fly. Why? Crows. Yeah, that's it. Birds. Perhaps if you can stall Shoko, we can get some pata birds to eat all the grains of rice. Pata birds love rice. And prevent Shoko from finding the path that leads to our secret camp. You know, you're a genius, Fudo. <laughs> now get going and stall them while I call the birds. Here, little birds. Pretty birds. Come see your old pal Fudo. <laughs> hey there! Ha! Many ninnies! Finally! Huh. We missed you too, Shoko. Well, I'll be merciless! Summarize! Attack! <laughs> and after, you just carry the sack with the hole all the way over there, all right? You got that? Enjoy the food! going. Keep it up. And now it's your turn, my pretty friends. <laughs> Take it easy, hero. You'll get tired monkeying around like that. Hey, Shoko, don't you and your motor mouth ever get tired? <laughs> hero! Aha! Uh -huh. Well now, who was right, huh? It looks like you're all washed up, Ninny Ninja. Huh? Fall back! Shoko's too strong for us! Already running away, you cowards! No, we're not running away, Fudo. We have to... Hero, Fudo was right. We have to fall back. Quick! Hey! You're amazingly believable. You nearly fooled me. Shh! Let's hurry and get the rice to the villagers. <laughs> they can go wherever they like. I don't care. What counts is finding out where their secret camp is. Without them even knowing. You deserve a big kiss. Uh, uh, 
Um, no, that's real sweet, Aika. But no need, really. Um, we were just glad to be able to help. <laughs> really. All right, have it your way. If you don't want to kissy poo, I'll just kiss Fudo. Huh? <laughs> I can almost taste victory. <laughs> No! This can't be happening! They tricked me again! Ah! Not the fortress! No! And to celebrate this new victory against Ashida, I've made you something. A special treat. <laughs> How sweet of you, Master. What is it? Is it fish or stewed fruit or... Nope. It's plain rice. Oh. Where's Hero? Isn't he eating? No, Master. For Hero, rice is like kisses. It's for the birds. <laughs> <laughs>